Well, I put the hardware on here um, according to uh, the way I had planned, which is the bottom of the bale is uh, in the center of each of the drawer fronts. So uh, they're attached, the holes are drilled, of course, and uh, now I take it off so that uh, putting the uh, hardware on uh, after the finish is on doesn't, uh, shouldn't disturb any of the finish. So that's pretty much the way I've been doing it. I'm chopping out the uh, mortises now for the lock strikers. Um, so I've got two of them done and uh, this one's chopped out so I've got one more to go up here and then I'm going to turn it right side up. So uh, shouldn't take too long now. Well I'm sanding the chest top now and uh, it's down to 220. So we're ready to uh, soak it with water, uh, warm water and uh, raise the grain and then uh, sand to uh, 320. So in the meantime I thought I would mount the top onto the uh, chest uh, before we do final finishing so uh, here it is and there's I've drilled some holes well, you can see it uh, to put some screws in from underneath and they need to be countersunk but uh, because the drawer is so narrow I can't get any of my uh, drills uh, even with a 90 degree uh, or 45 degree so I've got my uh, bit here in a block of wood so I can use it by hand to do it how it was done in the old days so uh, I've got a countersink uh, all uh, six of these screws that I'm going to put in here and then there's slots that go in the back to allow it to expand towards the back so uh, that's what I'm still doing a little bit of woodworking uh, prior to finishing so the top is attached now with uh, half a dozen well let's see six eight eight screws and um, they're number ten inch and a quarter so now I'll take it off and uh, finishing so it'll be ready to attach when I am uh, start up again well, I finally got a color and a process that I like. Um, this is uh, the backs of some of the drawers here. And um, this is the antique cherry with a couple of coats of water lux on it. And this is uh, the uh, full strength. This is half strength. This is uh, the full strength there uh, with just one coat of water lux on it. But um, I like this one better. So what I've done to, to reduce the blotching is I've used this product here from uh, Charles Neal, which is a pre-color conditioner. I tried shellac and it didn't seem to uh, block it much at all. So we're going to give this a shot. So I'm going to start to uh, coat it the uh, main cabinet with it now. Well there you have it. The uh, top has been uh, sanded smooth with uh, 400 grit sandpaper and uh, it's a little bit lighter uh, than it was before I think I'd still like it a little lighter but uh, I'm afraid of sanding through the dye at this point so um, I'm reasonably satisfied with that but uh, now I've wet down the uh, rest of the uh, chest here with the uh, stain blocker uh, the Charles Neal uh, blotch blocker I guess is what it uh, he calls it so it's uh, got to dry and then we're gonna sand that with 320 as well as the uh, drawer fronts here are uh, soaked with it and uh, so now it has to dry and then we'll sand that all down uh, knock the fuzzies off with 320 grit and then we'll be ready for the stain well I've applied the uh, stain blocker, uh, blotch blocker uh, through all of the rest of the chest after I did the top and I've got to, it, when you apply it and it dries it really raises the grain and uh, so it's really uh, rough here so I got some three, 320 grit sandpaper and I'm just lightly knocking the, the nubs off but when it feels smooth and I'm not pressing very hard at all. I 
then I'll wipe it off and it'll be ready for uh, the uh, stain. So we'll do that in a minute. Well, there you have it. Uh, it's uh, dyed or stained. Uh, I have it laying on its back here because uh, I did do it upright, but uh, then you turn it over to look for all the spots that you missed. And it's uh, fairly even. And the color is pretty good. I got approval from the boss, so uh, we'll stand it upright. It has to be uh, sanded off yet because I'm sure we raised the grain again. And then uh, I'll run some pictures here for you with it all together. The uh, top and drawers are over here. Uh, they're all ready to go. This has been uh, rubbed out already. Uh, I did that yesterday. Well, the dye stain is on, and uh, I've still got to rub it out uh, with the 400 uh, sandpaper to get some of the fuzzies off, and then we'll uh, start to apply the water looks.